Hey guys, Chad here with Apex Reviews. Uh, just coming out with a towing video now on our 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Now this was asked quite a bit in my comment section on my review video in the description below. Uh, so if you want to see a full overview of this pickup, feel free to click on that and I'll go through all the ins and outs. But now for the sake of this video, we'll just be looking at how it's towing our travel trailer. Now this is a 22 footer, uh, I think 25, 26 feet overall, uh, Heartland North Trail 22 RBK travel trailer. Uh, as it sits, when I towed it across the scales, this was about a 5,200 pound trailer. So this is definitely far below the towing capacity of this particular pickup. I believe this is in the high 11s, low 12s uh, as it sits. Now, different from what you've seen in the actual review video, this one does have a leveling kit now. So the level that's typically there is now gone. So any, any sag in the rear is going to be accentuated because of that. So this is a two inch rough country. Obviously when the, the trailer's not attached, that back ends up maybe another inch. Uh, it doesn't sit too bad. It's got a little bit of squat, but overall looks pretty good. I've uh, definitely seen Rams in the prior generation getting a little bit more squat of that coil spring in the rear uh, versus obviously your standard leaf spring. So, If you guys have any questions about how it tows or any particulars about towing, feel free to let me know. That tail light here, that little bump in there, it does detect the blind, it's your blind spot monitors in there, and it actually automatically detects the length of the trailer. And you'll see it in the cluster on the top left side. It detects this as up to 30 feet. Uh, it goes in 20, 30, and I think that's maybe 10 to, I don't know. But this one does know it's at max 30 feet, but longer than 20. And I, when cars are in my blind spot here, it doesn't detect that, but it doesn't detect the travel trailer as a car. So in previous vehicles like our Grand Cherokee, when that blind spot monitors were equipped, whenever the trailer would kind of break into its barrier here, you'd get a notification inside that would drive you nuts, ultimately turning off your blind spot monitors. With the way they have it now, it just knows the trailer is back there and it doesn't really think much about it. It ignores it and when a car approaches your blind spot, really even right past the travel trailer, you see it on the mirror and you're notified. So a really great system. I'm glad they uh, figured that out in the industry. It's just a nice little safety measure that you don't lose while towing a travel trailer. And obviously that's another time when you really want that to work. So. Okay guys, now going on to the drive time portion of the review. I know I said I wasn't gonna talk to you, but there's a couple things I wanted to just add on. Uh, real quick, there's that 30 foot indicator that will change depending on the trailer that you're towing. And then I will kick on tow haul mode, and you'll see it in the center cluster there. So again, it's gonna rev a little bit longer just to uh, keep temps down and uh, just kind of change some shift patterns and stuff just because of that. So keep that in mind. You can see the tow haul mode is lit right behind that uh, speedometer tack there. And to add, this does have the 5.7 liter standard V8 engine. So this is not the e-torque engine. If you wanna get some feedback on how that went, I will have a 2019 Rebel video with the e-torque engine coming live here soon as well. So again, just gonna be quiet here going on the road. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. If you guys hear any squeaking throughout this video, just keep in mind that is our weight distribution hitch. It is not the pickup. And as I get on this expressway here, I am gonna uh, goose it or floor it just so you guys can have some of the pickup uh, acceleration, I guess I should say, with this pickup while towing. And we will be going uphill.
anyway, as we crest this hill, you will see it'll settle down into another gear. I do believe it's in sixth right now with a total of eight speeds with this transmission. You can see there, blind spot monitor kicked on as that uh, Highlander drove by, and I could very easily, uh, I wasn't getting any uh, indication that the trailer was back there. So obviously that uh, detection system is working just fine, and I can still have the safety advantage of having my blind spot monitor just still work while towing. And if you look in the little tow mirror, you can see I've got a good visual of what's coming up next to me and I don't have to have the extended tow mirrors or the full-size tow mirrors to accomplish that. So yes, it is possible for Dodges not to have their mirrors turned up. When we're going down a road at 55 miles an hour you'll see it, the truck does kick into eighth gear quite often and does quite well in our opinion as far as uh towing and fuel economy goes the truck does have 1600 miles on it so i believe we're past the break-in period at this point really our first towing trip the fuel economy wasn't so great but on this trip we've averaged right around 10 and we are traveling in northern michigan uh camping so we do have quite a few hills that you're seeing here and so that obviously is gonna have an impact on the fuel economy. I do like that when you kick into the second bit down here, there's a coolant temp, trans temp, oil temp, and oil pressure gauge that you can easily see really the status of the vehicle. And you can see in the top left corner, I do have the trailer brake controller on there as well. And that's just showing exactly how much pressure the trailer brakes are actually uh, you know, putting in place right now. So I like to have that little one up there just so I can still make use of this uh, large screen. Now, I know these are some very large hills as we're going through here, so truck is kicking down a little bit, but that's pretty much to be expected with the size of the hill that we're going up. It, it's quite the hill. And on the fuel economy perspective, going up this hill, we're getting five, but um, we'll see how it kind of levels out here in just a bit. I think our full trip economy here, this is since we left our home, we're at 9.6, and again, we've been traveling throughout hills like this, some 55 mile per hour roads and things along those lines. So. Overall, I can't really complain. I think that's uh, uh, pretty respectable uh, given the land that we're driving on and just towing a camper at the same time. Transmission hasn't gotten warm, no issues with the truck whatsoever. Uh, it's, it's just been a good solid pickup going on the road. Uh, I really have to give it to uh, Ram with this truck. I think they did a really good job. We've towed this travel trailer with a 4Runner with a Grand Cherokee, and I think that was it. And the Grand Cherokees did really well. The 4Runner did well in its own respect. Obviously, it was a bigger trailer for a uh, 4Runner, but the Ram pickup does definitely tow it the best. Uh, the longer wheelbase as compared to the Grand Cherokee, and uh, obviously, just being a pickup, it, it does a great job. So. This is more of your standard hill that I think you'd see just traveling across most terrains and just kicks down just a little bit and then we'll kick back into seventh gear. So if I don't have tow haul mode on, it doesn't do that. So if you're fine with leaving tow haul mode off to keep it in those higher gears, you can do that. It's just something the truck's doing here just to put less strain on the transmission and uh, just let that happen. So, all right guys, any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you and take care and make it a great day.